I'm Irish. It's March 17th. You're with me, Patrick L. Young. And so we're having a special Exchange Invest video edition. The big news in the Exchange Parish is the proposed takeover by Deutsche Börse of London Stock Exchange, being sold as a merger of equals, although it looks more like a merger of equal desperation. At the core of the value proposition is that rather confusing world, the complexities of central counterparty clearing. Apparently, the clearing of OTC instruments and exchange-traded derivatives are hugely different. Which leads me to consider the Devil Wears Prada. Yes, indeed, it's a tough call, because these belts are so different. Let's help you along with this simple depiction of the vast difference between ETD and OTC CCP. Yes, it's that age-old battle which has defined centuries of British confectionery. Are you right Twix or left Twix? While quite evidently, the utterly different exchange-traded derivatives clearing is right Twix. We've long known that chocolate and caramel from each could be cross-collateralised, even in shorter and indeed longer durations. The net-net novation required to get left Twix, um, I mean OTC clearing, at LCH ClearNet, and right Twix, I mean um, Eurex ETD clearing, agreed by antitrust, is just abandon your old modes of thinking and think of a sweet treat. Sorry, I mean two entirely separate sweet treats that just happen to share the same wrapper. You don't need all that cant about matching every buyer to every seller and every seller to every buyer. There's a whole new world of novation out there. All together now, let's novate the new mantra of clearing. OTC versus ETD, CCP is as easy as great confectionery. One is chocolate with a biscuit and caramel centre, while the other is a biscuit covered in caramel and chocolate. Ladies and gentlemen, remember where you saw it first, the home of Daily Exchange Insight, Analysis and Investment, exchangeinvest.com.